Hey guys, welcome back to Living Gratefully. I've been wanting to share with y'all something that I just love and that is our deck lights. So here's Scott to talk about how he installed them. Hey everybody. So first I wanna say that I'm not a professional at this. I've never done it before. I'm not a pro at construction or lighting, but um, this was something that we had seen a lot of before and we just thought it'd be something we would enjoy. So we went to Home Depot and we ordered this uh, light set. Um, it was 50 bucks we needed um, we were kind of in between needing two and three so we got two and then I had to lay it out so when I laid it out I just tried to lay it out to where the best way I could fit just two boxes to kind of stretch it out so it's sort of in between so later on in the video you'll see kind of at the end where there was a little extra light and it's really not perfect but it worked out good and you got to really look for it to see where it's not perfect but i i personally think that that's part of what kind of makes it cool is that it's not perfect but um this kind of shows you the layout of it um the picture before this um would, would be like viewing this from above um and what i did was tried to space it out so that most of the light was centered toward the middle because that's where our sort of our like uh conversation set is or whatever you call that furniture that sets in the middle and we spend a lot of time there <clears throat> excuse me so um you can see there that's where i had to connect the two um the two strings um and here i had to um i had to install some posts to hold the lights on the outside there and um we're going to get into some details on that i got lucky and found some spray paint actually um because the deck had been stained it's been stained for years this color and we were going to try and match it up so i just went to the went to home depot bought some spray paint and brought it home and sprayed it i knew it would be somewhat pretty close but it actually worked out pretty good so there's a there's a good example there of where it's not really perfect but it it works it's good enough and like i said it kind of adds some character um but um, again, there's the post, um, and right here is, you'll see where I had to make some little blocks out of two by fours there to, to um, connect the post. So you can just see where I screwed the little piece of the little block in there, and then down there did the same thing. They're screwed into this, and then this right here is screwed in only right there and right here. It's two here and two down there. Whereas if I had done a two by four all the way up, I could have had screws all the way and that wouldn't have bowed out like it has. And so by that bowing out, it's making this turn like that. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is take this off and flip it around, take the cup hook off and put it on the other side. And, and that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm probably not gonna change that part but I've learned if, that yeah. I, I should have done a solid piece. Right. And I may. So yeah, so what I may even do next, if I were to do it again, would be to possibly use something besides wood, maybe some black iron or something. There's a good example there of how it, how it's, um, when it's nice and solid up against the post, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't pull or bend like the ones in the middle do. Um, and you can see there on the end, I had, that's where I tried to make it, make the most out of the, the lights that we had, kind of square it off at the end, and make it like an outside wall, sort of, since we had the wall on the other side. So, um, and again, more about the, sort of shows the layout. Um, the, um, the little hooks there, just little, I got like a 10 pack of cup hooks um, at uh, Home Depot. Of course, that's, that's aluminum wrapped there. It's wood behind there, so the, it's, it's nice. And I just did little pilot, pilot holes and then um, with my drill and then was able to easily screw those cup hooks in. Um, and again, there, th that's the end that I was talking about where I sort of made it like a sort of like walled it off on the end with the light there. Um, so again, this is something that we've uh, really got a lot of enjoyment out of. And uh, I was I was amazed that you that the those little baby hooks hold that much weight because they aren't they aren't light those lights. 
Yeah. Well, they're they're in there pretty deep, the the hooks. So mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. It's really more about how how far in, you know, how not so big the hook is, but the screw on the other side of the hook. So um, and this dimmer was something that we added later, actually, sometime, I don't know, maybe a couple months after we put the lights up because we found that it was a little too bright. And what you have to do is you got to read the box and see what the wattage is for your complete set. And then so you make sure you get the right dimmer because you don't want to overload it and cause trouble. So here's a pretty good shot of how it looks kind of nice at night. Um, we get a lot of enjoyment out, especially with this COVID-19 thing. We're working from home, so when you get outside in the evenings, it's almost like getting out of the house. All right, that's it, guys. Please subscribe for more Living Gratefully videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye.